let's move to the next question here we have the problem we have to show that the line segment joining the midpoints of opposite sides of quadrilateral bisect each other let's work out the problem according to the problem we have a quadrilateral ABCD and we are given the midpoints so we take P be the midpoint of AB, Q be the midpoint of BC, R be the midpoint of CD and S be the midpoint of AD. We have to prove that line segment joining midpoints of opposite sides of quadrilateral bisect each other. That means line segment PR and xq bisect each other so how we can prove this we have not given any angles we have not given any sides so we look for another solutions that means we go through for midpoint theorem according to this theorem according to this theorem the line segment joining midpoints of two sides of triangle is parallel to third side and it is equal to half of the length of third side that means if we take P is the midpoint of AB and Q be the midpoint of AC then the line segment joining P and Q is parallel to third side which is BC and the length of line segment PQ is equal to half of BC this is the statement of midpoint theorem so we use this statement in our previous problem let's work out this how we get this so to get this solution we draw a line parallel to AB through C a line parallel to AB now we extend Q to meet L at S here we know that P is midpoint so AP is equal to PB since P is midpoint similarly Q is midpoint of side AC so AQ is equal to QC and here from the properties of transversal AB and L are parallel lines AC is a transversal so alternate angles must be equal this angle must be equal to this angle if you look at PS, PS is also a transversal and here we have this angle and this angle is vertical angles, vertically opposite angles. So they must be equal. We have these two sides are equal. And in this figure, triangle APQ, this triangle is similar to triangle QSC how we say means here we have angle common and these two sides are equal and another angle so by ASA congruency these two triangles are congruent corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal so here PQ is a part of this triangle it is equal to QS since they are congruent parts that means co corresponding parts PQ is equal to QS and now we have PB that is a part of AB is parallel to L we already have this situation and we know that AP is equal to PB corresponding part of AP is SC so AP is equal to SC here AP is equal to PB therefore PB and SC are equal and the distance between parallel lines AB and L is PS which is equal to BC therefore PS is equal to BC here we form a quadrilateral BC SP this is a parallelogram 
how we say that here these two lines are parallel pb and sc and one pair of opposite sides is equal so these two satisfied the condition of parallelogram so ps bc is a parallelogram in a parallelogram we have bc is parallel to ps that means bc is parallel to pq here we prove the first condition pq is parallel to pb and we know that the length of the segment is equal to ps it is because these two are opposite sides of parallelogram and here we get bc is equal to 2 times pq how we get pq means these two triangles are congruent so the corresponding part of pq is qs therefore these two must be equal and it is equal to pq pq is equal to half of bc so the aim to tell this theorem is line segment joining midpoints of two sides of triangle is parallel to third side and it is equal to half of the length of other side let's come to our question so our aim is to prove pr and sq bisect each other to prove that we draw a diagonal that is bd here we get two triangles one of the triangle is abd in this triangle two sides ab and ad and their midpoints p and s are joined and from midpoint theorem we know that sp is parallel to the third side which is bd and the length of sp is equal to half of bd it is from midpoint theorem and now in another triangle bcd here q and r midpoint of two sides therefore qr is parallel to third side which is bd sorry here we have bd and qr is equal to half of the other side which is half bd and in these two we have half bd half bd so sp is equal to qr if we draw the diagonal ac we will get two more triangles that is triangle acb and triangle acd in these two triangles also we get sr is equal to pq if you look at the diagram we get sp is equal to qr and pq is equal to sr since opposite sides are equal and they are parallel we say that pq rs is a parallelogram from the properties of parallelogram diagonals bisect each other here we use this property what are the diagonals of pqrs here pr is one diagonal and sq is another diagonal therefore pr and sq are the diagonals of parallelogram pqrs so they bisect each other and this is the proof of above statement